Hello. Hello, buddy. In the previous video, we talked about uh, the variable importance using nnet. Say so that uh, nnet is for very simple architecture with uh, one hidden layer. But when you have to deal with uh, some more options with uh, complex network architecture, like more than one hidden layer, we use the neural net. So the data set is the discharge, I call here my data. Read dot table, my directory, my data one. And I see my data here, how the discharge, my output or response variable. I would like to analyze and I have uh, my input variables that are here. Soil moisture, soil temperature, uh, air temperature, evapotranspiration, specific humidity and the precipitation. So as usual we see the content, this is the content number of rows, number of columns, uh, 84 have 84 observations so this is my target this chart is my target I would like to know among these input variable which ones have uh, uh, a greater impact or have greater effects on the discharge the, uh, uh, which ones are the most important to the discharge, the river discharge I have. So, if you like the correlation, it doesn't have any characters, so normally, for my data, I would give you the correlation questions between them. If it throws you errors, you say, okay, not numeric, you need to apply this because it has to be numeric. So this is not the case. So we have the packages sensor, their tools, neural net here, and a GG plot tool, the GG plot tool, and a, the neural net tools. Once we install, I already installed them, so now I just call the libraries. I select all of them and I click run. So let's execute it. I set dot seat to make it reproducible. And this is my model syntax mod equal neural net this time. In the previous video, we saw it was nnet, now neural net, and the discharge, delta at plus p plus et plus sh plus sn plus st, and my data, equal, the data equal my data, it's 5 and 5, we run, And to see our NID, the neural interpretation diagram, type this code plotnet mode or model, whatever name you give it. So this is our NID. Uh, let's see, 11,100 and uh, 491. 591 is the maximum. Height I can have here. Oh, so click about thousand four ninety one and the update. So <coughs> you see the input variables we have the hidden layer here and we have the biases to b1 b2 the bias and our output to charge here and then we see the black and the gray 
connections. The black means is positive connection, gray means negative connection or, or negative association or positive association is the the, the, are the, the, the the black connections. So you have five connections here and for air temperature you have two out of uh, five that uh, are positive, the three are negative association. Precipitation has three out of five uh, positive association with uh, the output. Uh, Evapotranspiration is two. Soil temperature is, no, specific humidity has four positive connections. Out of five, soil moisture has five out of five and the soil temperature has 4 out of 5 so here again we see the most important variable to river discharge is soil moisture because it has 5 out of 5 see and then you go to the 4 the 4 is specific humidity and the soil temperature and then precipitation has three air temperature just two in the ET two. So if you have to take by order of how to take the most only one, say it's like a soil moisture. The most is the soil moisture here. So you can go to from five to four and you take maybe the three most influential that are here. So it gives a, it gives an idea about uh, how to deal for the next step. So let's consider. So the Garson algorithms just give the magnitude. We see here the connections. Now we are going to have the magnitude. So Garson mod give the magnitude, the height of the bars would have. So this we see SMB second here. So once you run again, it's going to change. So you need to, to first run the model again. And we run Gerson. And then here we are with our soil moisture that is the most important. So here we have just the magnitude, we, the importance here, magnitude. The olden method, olden mod, olden parenthesis mod is going to give us the magnitude and the, the signs in case the association is positive or negative. So you see the gray colors and the black colors, the olden is going to tell us which ones. So you see here, AT has negative association with uh, so, uh, with uh, our discharge. So not only we have the magnitude here, which is, gives us uh, the sign. Why? You know already ST has 4 out of uh, 5, I think. SM has 5, so those are lists here positive sign and AT has negative sign so I think it helps to you know when you compare this with the correlation coefficients generally what I did they 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 they, they go they go along together so what whatever you have in the correlation coefficients when you come here it gives you an idea about how to proceed to the next step which ones are the most important so like a, you, you go from one method to another to confirm what you already got. Correlation tells you that they are positively correlated. The all done plots going to give you an idea about which ones have negative or positive relationship with your data, uh, your output data. So thank you for watching that uh, and I hope uh, this video helped you to process your data in order to continue with your analysis. Thank you.